Hello everybody, it's Max McAllister from Traction Dynamics here today and I'm going to show you uh, how to install the transponders on your motorcycle for the TPX laser jamming system and this is our Super 2021 Mega build here and the owner has purchased the TPX laser jamming system and the TPX radar detector. Uh, um, those, these are both standalone systems. They, they don't actually integrate. So I'll kind of show you how they, they'll work on a kind of a master plan on another day. But this video is just going to talk about mounting the transponders. Uh, the reason I'm doing these videos is two, twofold. One, the instructions from TPX are border on completely useless. And uh, I've spoken with them about it and they said, hey, you know, we're a small company. We're, we're going to, we know our, we know it and we're going to work on it and make it better. So they're aware of this. Uh, but so their instructions talk about mounting the transponders here. And uh, it, the, they're so limited that uh, it, it basically just says put it on the bike, you know, and make sure it's pointed forward and then you, you level it. Well, uh, so I couldn't find, I found one single photograph on the entirety of the in, World Wide Web of a pair of these transponders mounted to a motorcycle. Their instructions have no image, no diagram, no sketch, no nothing to even give you an idea of what to do. I spoke at link with the tech support of the company and the guys there are very knowledgeable. Uh, so um, what they told me that I just didn't know about laser jamming, laser systems, when the police uh, shoot the laser at your vehicle, they are aiming for the most reflective surface they can find on the front of the vehicle. Uh, invariably, that is the headlight wells. So your headlight wells have a highly reflective surface behind the bulbs to help magnify and intensify the light headed out. So when the police aim the laser at your motorcycle, they're aiming right into the headlights. So you wanna get the transponders as close to the headlights as possible. That's the first thing. Now, they, they, they talk about uh, leveling them, and, but okay, so there's three axes that, uh, uh, actually I'm gonna bring this in while I'm talking so you can kind of see that I don't have a cameraman today. It's Saturday and I'm working by myself. So here are the transponders mounted to this Honda Goldwing here. So there's the transponder you can see. All right, now, there's two of them, left and right, and they're, they're the same part, but uh, you know, your, the, they're help to be like a redundancy, and I guess it's some form of triangulation for the computer to read, but uh, depending on which way they might be shooting, as long as one of them gets hit, you're, you're good. So uh, they want you to put them as far forward, as close to the headlights, and as far apart as you can get them. So in this motorcycle, I've accomplished that, and so then you want them faced as forward as possible. So in the case of this Goldwing, I actually removed the entire chin panel and then using a ruler, I, <coughs> the, the chin panel is sort of shaped like a house. I put the ruler, tape the ruler to the plate so that I could square the mounting brackets. So they're, they're perfectly perpendicular to the center line axis of the motorcycle. So that was the first step. And then I mounted them as wide as I could get them. So the problem comes when, you, when it's time to do what they call, what they're saying is level the, uh, the sensors. Well, level in what plane? Because there's, we've got three axes here and we've only addressed one. So I've addressed one by making it perpendicular to the bike. So here's one axis. Here's another axis, and then here's another axis, the rotation of it. So uh, what they're talking about is the side view rotational axis when they're asking you to level it. So let me work my camera down here. So what they're asked, trying to get you to do is level in this plane here. So they provide you a little bubble level. Um, when you use that bubble level, uh, one end is concave, the other end has, you know, a manufacturing like a uh, nipple on it from coming out of a mold. Use the end that's concave. I found it best 
you know, you could do this, but this surface is perfect on the face. So I hold it square to the face and then uh, level the light from there. Now, uh, what opt optimally, you'll have a friend, uh, you'll take your motorcycle off the center stand and have someone sit on it so that it's at the exact attitude it might be while it's going down the road and then adjust the level. Um, I opted to use, they supply you screws and 3M type adhesive. I use both because I wanted this to be a bomb proof installation and then uh, tighten the screws very, very tightly and then constantly rechecking levels. So once you're, you get it like cranked super tight, you still can move it slightly. You want to get as close as possible before, you know, when you've got it fully torqued. So that then you might just have a little small micro adjustment to get it to be uh, dead level. So at this point, I know that my, my transponders are perfectly facing on the same exact axis, perfectly perpendicular to the bike. And I know that they are both level. Now, what you probably can't address on your bike, and for sure with what's supplied by the manufacturer, is, is what I'm going to call you know, you know, the, the facial plane rotation. So theoretically, these should be level this way. Now on this bike, they are canted up slightly on either side. So when I spoke to tech support, they said that that was acceptable, um, that they were um, uh, not perfectly horizontal. So you would actually have to manufacture some form of bracket if you wanted them to be perfectly horizontal. But in my mind, I, uh, I, I actually thought this was kind of cool. I discussed it with the guy and he kind of, he kind of agreed with me. This guy's name was Wayne, he was real sharp. Um, so let's, let's talk about a motorcycle going down the road. Uh, we're just talking in a perfect situation. We're approaching the police in a straight line and uh, uh, our bike is fully horizontal. They shoot at the bike and uh, you know, hit the sensor and uh, your, your, it detects your alarm and it goes off. So you know, are these perfectly, is this perfectly horizontal? It's not. Or, uh, and let's say you've got it installed perfectly. That's great. Okay, but now, okay, we're riding on a, a, a flowing uh, highway or a curvy country road and the police are hiding. You know, the odds of you being straight up and down are pretty much zero. So now you're in like a sweeper. So you're running along at 80 or 90 miles an hour in a sweeper and your bike is leaned over. Well, both transponders are leaned over at the same angle. So you say, oh, well, uh, and it still works. So I would not be concerned about having this angle be off some. And again, the tech support verified that. But in my little installation here, I kind of thought it was cool because having them slightly uh, V'd like this, uh, if I'm in a right-hand turn, guess what? One of them has come perfectly horizontal. If I'm in a left-hand turn, one has come perfectly horizontal. So this little tiny V configuration on the, this is a, a 2018 plus model Honda Goldwing. So 18 to 21, this installation would be like this. Um, in my mind is actually pretty cool and and maybe even better than having them both fully horizontal so i thought it was cool and um but i thought i would show it to you and discuss kind of what's missing from the instructions so they don't address this axis at all in the instructions they actually don't really even talk about getting them perpendicular and square to the bike the only axis they're trying to get you to to level is this side side view axis of of the thing so uh, they're aware that their instructions need improvement. I know they're going to be working on it. Um, but if you do have, if you're trying to install the TPEX, any of their products, get them on the phone and the guys are knowledgeable and they'll answer your questions. And um, uh, I've, I've found they've been very good. So uh, that's a look at installing the laser jammer transponders for um, this, for, from TPX. Uh, they do have an optional third transponder you can buy to plug into the brain that's for the rear of the bike if you're suspecting you might be shot from the rear um, with laser. So, uh, but the two that are supplied, they're, they're, are intended for the front of the bike. All right, so my name's Max. Please give this video a thumbs up, particularly if you were wondering, looking for information on how to install these. Uh, share with your friends in case they're buying this system and uh, keep, keep your eye out for more great content on my channel.